can't concentrate when I'm yelling. Relax! Hello everybody and welcome back! I would just like to thank you, yes you, for clicking on this video. Now I do know that I haven't been uploading for at least 4 days now and it's all for one simple reason. I started school last week, so if you notice that I'm uploading a little less often, now you know. But I should have at least one video uploaded every Saturday and Sunday and I'll make an effort to upload during the week too. So as you may know, Destiny 2 released yesterday at midnight and I've been playing only that. So today we will be exploring the new social space called the farm, the various secrets it has, and some exotic ships, emotes, and all the exotic weapons. Let's get to it. So right smack in the middle of the farm lies the glorious vault. This time you start with 200 slots of vault space and that is just amazing. If you go to the collection section of the vault, you'll be able to find your unlocked emblems, shaders, and emotes. This is where you will find the salute emote that you get by pre-ordering Destiny 2. Also, in the emblem section lies the Destiny 2 veteran rewards, so I completed everything so I earned every single veteran rewards emblem. Now I'll present to you all the exotic weapons that you will see in a slideshow kind of thing. This may take a while because there are a lot of weapons to look at, but I'll try and make it as fast as possible. that the hard light and minor multi-tool are back in Destiny 2. And now I'll showcase to you all the exotic ships, sparrows, and emotes that you can get from bright engrams that you get once you level up after you start leveling up after level 20, and you can also purchase them from the Eververse. Then we have some more secrets. If you enter this hallway leading to a room in the side of this building, you can see some random stuff unrelated to anything. But what you don't know is that refugees come here to plot against the guardians themselves. Take a look. Look at these peasants just walking down here. What are they even doing and why can they enter this room but I can't? Oh, this is so annoying. <laughs> Okay, no, but actually, what in the world is going on here? These refugees are performing some type of satanic ritual down here. There is also a soccer court that if you score three times in the same net, fireworks come out and it's freaking amazing. If you come over to this watermill thingamajiggy and do some hardcore parkour, you're able to get onto the roof of Tira Karn's building. Then you can do some tight roping and walk across this wire all the way to the other side that will bring you to a secret area on top of this other building that I'm not sure if it has a use. And even like this part on top of the building, it doesn't really have a use either, so I don't really know why it's here to be honest. 
And from that building, you can do some more tight roping to get on top of the roof of which Soraya Hawthorne lies. Why is this here? I, I'm not sure, guys. I'm not sure why this place is here, but it's just kind of cool. I like these little uh, secret areas that they have here. It's really, really fun. Now for some even more secrets. If you follow the stream all the way down to this part where you just... You just can't do anything, and I'm trying to, like, jump on top of this rock, and it never works out for me, because I suck at doing third-person parkour, and then you'll be able to hit this barrier here that has no use whatsoever. Anyways, take a right and cut through the forest. There will be some barriers that you'll definitely hit, but if you cut straight through the entire forest, forest you'll come to a beautiful view that you can just look out onto the water and it's really nice a good spot for cinematics which i actually did take a cinematic so here i am now on the edge of the cliff um i mean if you, you shouldn't jump off from here you'll die so yeah just another really cool thing that bungie added to the farm Finally, if you want to get some free exotics, once you go to Titan, a new planet introduced in Destiny 2, and complete the mission called Utopia, you will be able to go over to Sloane, who is a brand new NPC on Titan, and she will give you some free exotics. You have three exotics from sh to choose from, and for Warlock, it's armor, and I'm pretty sure it's armor for every character, but obviously the armor will be different depending on what class you are, so I'm on Warlock, and I get to use these Three, I get to choose one of them, and I happen to choose the helmet, but these are really cool. So here are the Sunbracers, which is basically a ripoff from the Sunbreakers from Destiny 1. So Sunbreakers have returned, honestly. These gauntlets still look just as sick as they did in Destiny 1. Honestly, I think they e look even better. Then we have a new exotic that we saw in one of the Destiny 2 trailers called the Wings of Sacred Dawn. And I gotta say... Bungie has done a very good job designing the new exotics and really making them look exotic. These are really cool and the perk is on screen now. I, lo I look at all of the perks, they're all really cool, so if you want to read them, feel free free and then this is the helmet that i chose i chose this eye of another world and it's really cool the helmet just looks sick on your head as you can see there's that like cloudy effect inside but anyways guys that's all i have for you today once again thank you for clicking on this video and i hope to see every last one of you in the very next video i will be uploading a ton of destiny 2 so make sure to stay tuned